Hi everybody, it's Webflow Joe with an effin' sweet Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to make a plus minus number counter on your Webflow form. Allow users to count up or count down and have that number in an input field. Let's see how it works. We're in the live example and clicking on these up and down buttons is going to start incrementing or decrementing inside of a Webflow native form. So I can keep going up, I can keep going down, and I can even go and enter a value manually and then go and submit my form. In Designer, we have a native Webflow form. We are going to apply some classes to our up button, our down button, and our input. First on the up button, we have this class of hack 16 counter button with an add-on class of hack 16 up. And then on our down, we have an add-on class of hack 16 down. These don't have to be buttons. They don't have to be links. They are just divs. We are just creating these buttons and they can be styled however you want. Our counter is a Webflow input field. This is really useful. So it's right in here, the native input for a form. And this is nice because we get to style it like an input field. And when the user starts changing the value, it submits right inside of an input, which means you have accessibility right in here to input settings. Also, it allows the user to go and change this value manually. So maybe they want to do the clicks, maybe they want to type it in. Using an input is going to allow them to do that. And we are giving the class of hack16 counter input to our input field. Let's break down this code line by line. Before the closing body tag, we're going to insert our script. First, we are going to declare and initialize x as zero. This is really important. We are creating this variable called x and we're giving it a value of zero. This is the starting point of our incrementing or decrementing. And we are using let because we are going to change this value later on in the code. This first part of the script is managing the counting up and this bottom part of the script is managing the count down. To count up, we need to target our up button and we have the add-on class hack 16 up for our count up button. And on click, we are going to increment and set a new value to the input field. We're gonna target the input field and this is the class that we gave the form input. This is the class that Webflow gives the input by default and we're going to update its value by plus plus x. Plus plus x is shorthand for x equals x plus one. What this is doing is just giving x one more on each click. We're gonna add one, add one, add one every time this button is clicked. And then when we count down, we're going to target our down button and on click, we're first going to run an if statement. If the current value is zero or more, then we will count down. And minus minus x is shorthand for x equals x minus one. We are counting down. And the reason we're running this x, this if statement is if we are at zero, we don't want the user to count down because we don't want negative numbers. We're counting dogs here. So no one has negative one dogs. So if they're at zero and they try to click down, this code will not run. If you want the user to count down to negative numbers, let's say negative one, negative two, negative three, and so on, you can go and remove this if statement and you can go into negative numbers. And that's it. This is how you count up and down inside your form. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. 
We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.